Continuing our COVID-19 coverage on the North Shore, St. Tammany currently has a positivity rate, get this, of over 17%. And its hospital systems are just seeing the highest number of COVID patients they've ever seen. WDSU's Sherman DeSalle live in Covington. And Sherman, how are healthcare workers handling this surge? They're trying to handle it as best as they can, Sella. We heard from the spokesperson from St. Tammany's office. They said that their vaccination sites will soon become testing sites as well as an effort to slow the spread. And health leaders are saying that even if the residents here choose not to get vaccinated, they're urging them to follow the mask mandates and other guidelines in an effort to ease the burden of what's happening inside of this hospital. They are taking extra patients. Uh, they are working under under some very stressful conditions. St. Tammany's health system, Dr. Mike Hill, says their staff is overwhelmed dealing with their highest number of COVID patients ever, all while taking care of residents with other medical needs. About 55 uh, percent of the patients to 60 percent of the patients in our hospital are non-COVID. And, and are quite sick. Similar scenarios are happening in hospitals across the state. Simultaneously, vaccinations are rising. State officials report about 14,000 new doses a day, a level not seen in three months. But with the aggressive spread of COVID and the highly contagious Delta variant, are the mask mandates and shots in arms still enough? Tulane experts say yes, for now. The question may be, you know, are we all gonna have to go to, to and 95s uh, on an ongoing continual basis for it to be, you know, protective. I, I don't know that that's, you know, necessarily ultimately where we may, may be going, but it's, you know, it's theoretically possible. It can get worse. Before it does, health leaders here are urging the public to take those simple measures and consider others in need of medical care. I think people need to be aware that the, the percentage of patients who are potentially infectious in our community is, is high right now. Uh, there is asymptomatic spread uh, that is going on in our community as well. So I would be careful uh, with that.